And they will say, will you come and bring the bravery, the courage, the outspokenness that is written into your DNA to this moment? Or will you shrink someplace in a corner and be quiet and be less than you know you are? And as I was driving over here, I was hearing on the news more disturbing information about the 10th day in a row that the evilness that has inhabited the Oval Office mm -hmm. has wreaked upon four women of color. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what I want to say is we cannot allow, we cannot allow someone as morally deficient, mm. <laughs> ignorant, <laughs> racist, and misogynist is that to attack our sisters in silence. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's it. We cannot allow that. Because when he comes for one of us, <laughs> he comes for all of us. Can you hear me? Yes. He comes for all of us. And let me tell you, we have always been the moral center of this nation. And at this moment, in particular, we need to pick up that banner and carry it in the forefront to victory in 2020. Do you hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. okay. Is it fair? Is it fair that this burden is always on our shoulders? Hell no, it ain't fair. It ain't fair. But you know what? We will do what's right because it is within us to do it. We will win because it is within us to do it. And we will not cower in this moment like some have chosen to do, mm -hmm. like too many have chosen to do. But like our foremothers and forefathers, we will stand up and fight and we will stand up and win. Thank you so much.